y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm Nicole with the Bushel and Peck Designs. Today I decided that I wanted to use up some of these dump glitters that I made last year. I just took all of the old glitters that I didn't use or didn't care for anymore or from companies that I no longer, no longer shopped from and I made these beautiful dump glitter mixes. I do have them all listed on my website if you're interested in, in any of them. But I knew that this burgundy color would be so perfect to match this really pretty rose floral vinyl. I got this from 311 Co. And I am happy to let you guys know that as of this morning, the day I am creating this voiceover, I am now an affiliate with 311 Co. So there will be a discount code listed down in the description box for you. And I have to say, watching this back, I realized the day I was recording this, how dirty my camera lens was because it's so foggy looking. I'm so sorry about that. But I loved this vinyl and I really wanted to showcase a lot of the glitter on the tumbler, but I also really wanted to use a lot of this vinyl as well. So I decided I was just going to cut out these beautiful flowers. So I just took my scissors and very carefully kind of gave it a rough cut. It's not like precisely perfect, but the roses are big enough that it was really easy to just cut around the edges. And I did include some of the leaves in my cutout. And then this flower right here that I cut out, it is chopped in half. So with my initial idea, I decided that that was just gonna go on the top. So when I trimmed it off, it didn't matter that the rose was cut off anyways. I didn't share it, but what I did was take a 24 ounce slightly tapered tumbler from the tumbler supply store, spray painted it a dark burgundy color, and then I coated it with glitter, that glitter mix, and then I gave it a coat of epoxy until it was smooth, and then here we are now, ready to apply these flowers. And the best way that I could think to really visualize them before I placed them down was just put them on there and put down a little bit of painter's tape to hold them in place just to make sure that I really liked the placement because I only had one sheet of this vinyl so I didn't want to lay these flowers down and then hate the placement and be out of luck. So I laid those down and then once I was happy with them I just kind of did it like the hinge method and cut off a little piece and then used my finger to push down the flower and remove the backing. When thinking up this idea and this design in my mind, I really had the idea of it kind of going like in a swirl pattern in that direction so the flowers weren't just on one side. I didn't want just a traditional like split tumbler. So my mind just thought that they kind of wrapped around the tumbler from top to, bottom, top to bottom in a diagonal direction and then it would give some space to add maybe some other little elements and also add a fun decal which I ended up just cutting some vinyl for and used a seam that I really liked. Once I had everything 
in its place that I liked. I trimmed off the overhang on the top. I pulled it a little snug first just to make sure it was laid down pretty flat and then just trimmed it off with my X-Acto knife. And then before I give it a coat of epoxy, I am going to add some leopard spots, actually cheetah spots. I am pretty sure that leopard spots are the ones with two colors where there's a center and an outline and cheetah spots are just the single shape by itself. That's how I refer to it anyways, but I'm off topic here. So I had this vinyl, it's from Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it. It's like a matte, lustery vinyl. It is a white opal, but when you put epoxy on it, it has this really huge color shift. It's more of like an orangey opal. It's so pretty. I did use it on my Miami Dolphins inspired tumbler because it was perfect with that orangey shift on it. But I just added some really large cheetah spots in just some of the open areas and kind of keeping in that same direction as the swirl from top to bottom. I just kind of went in that same direction with these large cheetah spots. Once I was happy with all the placement of the cheetah spots, I had to make myself stop because I tend to go overboard sometimes. I'm really heavy handed and sometimes I don't know when to stop when I'm adding extra elements like that. So I had to make myself stop because I loved it. So I put it right on my turner and gave it a coat of epoxy and see what I mean about when you add epoxy, that color shift. 
It's so pretty. I love this vinyl. I gave it a coat of epoxy and then I decided that I really wanted it to say bloom with grace. I love that saying. So I found this one on Creative Fabrica and I cut it out of a really light pink, but not like a baby pink, more like a light mauve pink. And I backed it with a gold metallic and then I put them together and then I'm going to place them on the tumbler. I thought it would be a little bit easier this time to place them all as one so I could really see where I was placing it and if I liked the placement with the flowers and the words. I wanted the words a little bit to overlap from the flowers just so it kind of tied it all in together so it didn't look like it was just floating there on the tumbler. I was cutting the offset for my vinyl words I decided that it needed a little more touch of gold in there so I cut some really tiny cheetah slots as well just to mix in there with the white opaly ones and I thought it was a good way to tie it all together I felt like gold was such a pretty accent color it would tie in the SVG decal and the opal color shifting with the orangey gold tones in it and burgundy goes really well with gold so I thought it was a good complementary color. So I added those tiny cheetah spots and then this beauty was all done. I gave it two final coats of epoxy and it was all finished. This one actually is going to my recipient for my cup swap that I was just in. So this one will not be available, but it is on its way to its new owner. I can't wait for her to get it. I absolutely love the way this one came together. I tried to think a little outside of the box by cutting out those flowers, and I am so glad that I went with my gut and did it. I hope that I have inspired you in some way or another. I will leave all of the information where to find me and all of the products that I used and some discount codes down in the description box. And I hope you all have a good week and I will see you then. Bye y'all.